What's up guys, James here from Big Block Blu-ray. And have you ever gotten a new still book and you're excited about it and you pop it open and it looks like this? Well, I'm gonna show you today how to turn this into something really nice like this. Okay guys, now first let's go over what you need as far as to do this. Okay, of course you need a steel book with no artwork. You're going to need a paper cutter, some printer paper, a razor, you're going to need some scissors, some double sided tape. Uh, this I used was silicone sealant and this is a radio tool I use but you can use a uh, credit card or a flathead screwdriver as long as it's you know really small all right so first things first we got to find us a picture to put inside of the steel book now I looked online on the forums and the best place to go is the moviedb.org that's the moviedb.org today we're going to be doing Batman Begins so type Batman Begins in the search hit enter movie comes up click on the movie okay brings up the cast and here we go is the backdrops now you can go in and pick out which backdrop you like the best and you can also find these on our other websites but this is the this is the one that I found that that has the most and the highest quality pictures so you come on you decide which one you want but we're gonna go with the one I liked at the beginning this one here so you click on it save the image okay once you've uh, saved your picture now you need a template and now guys you're gonna need Photoshop for this um, it's the only program that I know how to use um, I know other people use other programs but I'm gonna show you how to do it with Photoshop um, I found this one on highdefninja.com if you just go to their forum and um, search the forums and click to um, you can click uh, inside artwork or and you can come to this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna mouse over this and save the template and then open it in Photoshop which I've already done so we open the template in Photoshop here it is it's already the correct size that you need for the steel book and you're also gonna open the photo that you want to use for the steel book now next the first thing you want to do is check the size of the picture if the picture is too big or too small it's gonna not look right in the template so you go up here to image image size and okay we got a width of 26 inches and a height of 15 inches now you want a width of around 10.87 inches and a height of 6.71 so what you're going to do is change this so width is 10.87 so we'll change this to 10.87 and that brought our height down to 6.1 and we want a 6.71 so we're going to raise that to 6.71 okay now that that raised our width a little bit but that's okay it doesn't matter so you click OK it resizes the picture I know it looks funny but it's that's how it works so now that your picture is the correct size you want to come back over to your template and you want to select just the black portions so that you can paste into that so what you're gonna do is click on your little magic wand you're gonna hold the shift key click the black portions now they're all highlighted now you're going to switch over to your image and you're going to command A to select the image then command C to copy the image. Now if you're using an a, a HP and not a Mac you know, the, you know the keys just select the image and copy it. Now you're going to come back to the template and you're going to go to edit you're going to go to spa paste special paste into and boom there it is so we got our image inside of our template and we're good to go okay guys now once you have your picture pasted into you want to make sure to save this go to file save as and now when it comes up you want to make sure that you come down and it's it's labeled Photoshop you want to go down to PNG and you want to make sure you save this as a PNG file so I'm gonna call it Batman begins dot PNG PNG save
All right guys, so now we're gonna print. And I had to switch computers because I have Photoshop on my laptop and I don't have it on my desktop. So that's an extra step I have to do, but you won't have to do. I have to actually email the picture to myself so I can open it on this computer. So now you wanna click print. And when the settings come up, you're gonna open the picture. Mine automatically opens with Windows Photo Viewer. So you click OK, there it is. So now you wanna select print, print, now when this comes up, your printer options, you wanna make sure to select, you wanna go into your printer properties, and it's options, and you wanna go into your printer properties, and you wanna make sure that you um, select the paper that you're using. So I'm using HP photo paper, so you wanna make sure to go in there and, and tell it that you're using that so it prints slower. If you, if you print it as a regular piece of paper, the image looks really bad. So you're going to select the paper you want. I put glossy photo paper. Uh, and then you also want to make sure it's on landscape mode. So click. you want to make sure you click that. Then you save it. Now when you go back here to the main print screen, you want to make sure you take off fit picture to frame and uncheck that. Because that blows up the picture. So you want to you know, put it back to where, the way it's supposed to be. Once you have all your settings set, then you click print and let it print. Okay guys, so first things first, we got to cut out our picture. Now you don't have to have a paper cutter, but my wife's a craft, uh, she's craftsy, so we have one, so I'm going to use it. You can use scissors, but it takes a long time, and you have to be careful to be, you know, right on the money. Okay guys, now as you can see, I have the picture all cut out. Now if you leave a little bit of white on the outside, that's okay, because the templates are actually a little bit too small. So you can actually leave a little bit of white and when you put it in there, it'll fit tight and you, and you won't even notice it. The only thing I cut really to size is the spine. Okay, now we need to get our steel book ready. So I'm gonna pop the disc out. Now you're gonna take your screwdriver or your knife or whatever you wanna use. And now with your steel book open, you want to be very careful and you want to put it inside the steel book in this top right corner. So you're going to put it in there and then you're just going to pop it up. See? It pops right up. So then you're going to just take it with your hands and you're just going to pull it loose. So there's the first piece. Now you're going to turn it around and you're going to do the same thing, the top right corner. You're going to pop that in, pop it out. Pull it with your hands and you're good. So now you have the case with the spine and you have your two steels ready to go. So you put your picture in each side. And now we all, all we have left is the spine. All right guys, now next what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the spine. Now you can do this with a hair dryer. I just use the gas grill, it's easier. Remember, safety first. And uh, you're just going to do it for one minute. It's just to get the spine hot to loosen up the glue in there. So we'll turn that on. And you're just going to go back and forth. Make sure not to burn it. Make sure not to heat, you know, burn your hand. And for one minute. Okay, guys. So now we got the spine good and hot. The glue is nice and tacky. So you want to take your razor blade. And you want to slide it right underneath the spine only. Now the first time I ever did this, I actually cut the entire plastic off. And um, that's on my previous Steelbook um, video where I showed all the inside artworks that I changed. So you're gonna just slide it in behind the spine or behind the glue, and then you're just gonna come on down with it. Nice and easy, make sure not to cut yourself, obviously. There we go, nice and easy. Okay, and now as you can see, our spine's off. Now what I do, there's still some glue residue on here, and I know a lot of guys clean the glue completely off and all that, I don't bother with that. You already have glue here, so why not use it to your advantage? So, take the spine artwork, place it on the glue that's already there. Oh, make sure you're careful.
Okay, place it on, rub it down with your finger so it sticks good. And then next step, I take a little bit of silicone. Now I was a mechanic, so I had this in my toolbox. So I just take a little bit, put it on my finger, not too much. Slide it down the back of this, down the back of the picture. Not too much, just, just a little layer. I know some guys use double-sided tape, and that's originally what I tried using, and it did work, but I like using the silicone better. So you can have either option, and you can buy this clear, clear double-sided tape, which works much better. So then you go ahead and put your spine back on, and with the silicone, it makes it easier so that it has time to set, so you can... You can put the spine on, make sure you got it lined up good. You can still maneuver it some so that it's nice and lined up. Now you want to let this sit for about 10 minutes and let it dry. Okay, so our spine's good and dry now. Go ahead and open it up and you can see what it looks like. So we have the picture inside. So now you're just going to take your case I'm going to slide it back into the metal frame and push it down to these corners. Okay. Same thing with this side. You're going to slide these tabs inside the metal frame, push it on these corners. Now you're going to push all around to make sure everything is in good. And there you have it, guys. You got nice artwork inside your steel book. It was plain. Now it looks good. You got the inside spine taken care of. Everything looks fine. You wouldn't even know that it's been tampered with. And put our disc back in. There we go. Professional. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching. That concludes my tutorial on how to put inside artwork inside of a blank steelbook. Nice quality here. And let me know in the comments um, if you have any questions. Or you can shoot me a PM. And... Um, Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.